this is my right leg as you can see I have a reasonably thin ankle and I have several bulges in my legs these several bulges indicate where illegal implants are they've put extra silicon in my legs to make them look bigger I do have normally have big calves but they've put extra silicon in to make it look like they're different you can tell by the shape when the muscles I've got the muscle tight and yet you can still press in it okay that's silicon over the muscle or just under the muscle I don't know how it works and there's also the crap there okay so let's go around and look at the front of my legs because according to the state of South Australia Police Department and Transport Department these lumps on my legs prove that I have mental illness because in their mind these lumps don't exist these lumps are a, fig a figment of my imagination what these lumps are is evidence of a legal implant it's a cable goes across my leg there that's a bit of silicon down there these are bits of silicon up here so they are but that's the cable there it goes over my leg it causes me a lot of pain when i driving a car without a um, cruise control so when i move when you move your leg you put your finger there yourself you feel the movement in your leg right your natural movement because that cables across my leg it causes me incredible amount of pain having to tilt my foot up and down as i'm using the accelerator so i wrote to the police and asked them to investigate these medical crimes because every time i've gone to a a physician in adelaide they've threatened me with the mental health act uh, when i asked them to investigate the legal implants uh, Gavin Nyman I think it was in 2010 did the same when I showed him illegal implants in my knees so this was 2018 I wrote to the police department and they've cancelled my driver's license since 2018 claiming this illegal implant doesn't exist the illegal implants went in in 2007 not 2007 they went in in 1997 so they've been there for um, quite a long time <laughs> whatever that is nearly 30 years over 30 years around 30 years they've been there for 30 years so that's why they're swelling up quite a lot because there's a lot of crap around it my immune system's trying to deal with them they should be removed that's what i've been trying to get done since 2007 and i've been imprisoned under the mental health act a, a few times illegally i might add the imprisonments have been revoked each time and um, the state still insists that I have mental illness because I want them to investigate the medical crimes. And this is all because I was identified as a dead person in New South Wales, and that's why I had the illegal implants. And that's associated with John David Hill, who's been pictured in the same publication as a, a bandito. What did they call him? Lance Wellington. Who was convicted of murder or manslaughter knee the lines that you see in blue borough indicate the area between there are illegal implants there's one lot there a lot of liquid there causing irritation because of the illegal implants in my knee that's near that cable that does explain why it's there i'm not a physician i don't know the physicians i've gone to have decided to threaten me with the mental health act instead of investigating the illegal implants so there's fluid there and i've got what's called a baker's cyst the back of my leg but i'm not sure whether it's is a baker's cyst or whether it's silicon injection because I've got silicon injection in me and I could tell because it's cold to touch and like it feels like my skin is dead it's that cold icy cold hear that I can hear it so pretty sure the camera's picked it up Let's see if you can see the cable 
and the shoulda. Here we go. Look, there's the line. Bridges. So I'll put that there. And that's the line where it's going. Take that away. It's obviously a lot of liquid there because it would make that mark if it wasn't. So let's put a deep divot in there because there's a lot of liquid there. And that's where the cable is. Goes that way, across my leg. As you can see by the shadow of the um, little torch. It's just magnetic on the end. See how swollen it is? Itchy like buggery. You wouldn't believe. It's like having a sand fly bite. If you ever if you're allergic to sand fly bites, that's what it's like. Under your skin. It never goes away. That uh say of South Australia decide that I'm mentally ill because I say I've got these illegal implants in my legs. That's the reason that they cancelled my driver's license in 2018. And the Minister for Transport still refuses to acknowledge that it's been illegally cancelled. Because why? Why? Why does the Minister for Transport refuse to believe my license being illegally cancelled by the falsification of a document that said, I said, illegal implants control my legs? When I said I don't have cruise control in my car and the illegal implants hurt and therefore I can't accurately press the accelerator pedal. And sometimes I go a little bit faster going up a hill to get up the hill faster and get home so I don't have to feel the pain. So there's the illegal implant in my leg. See it's getting bigger and bigger because it's now it's burning. Quite a lot because I've been rubbing over the top of it. There's that other one. Here's the other bright torch. You can see all oh, the lights. That's not going to work well. Put you there. Try this one. Okay, illegal implant my leg. You see how big it is. See the shadows? There it is. Looks like a clitoris now, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. It's getting bigger and bigger as we speak because I rubbed it really hard. So it's irritated the area around the illegal implant. So there it is. What's that? Three inches below the top of my kneecap. The illegal implant on my leg. Torch. Illegal implant on my knee. Compliments of the Freemasons of Australia, the state of New South Wales, and Cochlear Limited, who need the illegal implants in my leg for their aerials.